Hey Bear Nation, uh, Coach Brown, your head football coach here. Um, coming to you uh, on signing day, I'm looking forward to announcing this great 2022-2023 uh, signing class uh, for the UCA Bears. Um, unfortunately, if we're coming to you this way, then there's been weather issues, always seems to hit this time of year. Um, but we wanted to make sure we um, got out and, uh, and filled you guys in on, uh, on our great class. Um, I, I want to give some, some thank yous uh, before I get started in announcing this class uh, to a few people. Um, it starts with, uh, starts with our coaching staff. I mean, bottom line, uh, these men represented um, your program, your university, about as well as you could. Um, not only did we bring in great student athletes and families to our family uh, here in, uh, in UCA country, but also uh, they represented the, the community of Conway well um, also. And so uh, thanks to them, thanks to uh, Stephanie Crane, uh, our, our, our uh, secretary admin assistant, she, uh, she keeps us going. Uh, she, she helps us with travel. She does so much, kind of keeps us ticking. Uh, thanks to all of our graduate assistants, student assistants, support help. Um, you guys were crucial um, in the success of this and also the campus. I mean, bottom line is um, we couldn't get what we got done without having a great campus on the weekends. Um, I think we had six official visits over the course of the last two months. Um, through December and January and uh, bottom line is everybody uh, was was all hands on deck and made it work and 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 it's easy to sell this campus when you get families on it um, but other departments jumped on our counseling center uh, Scott Brze and his staff um, with the academic side our our, our, uh, our, our advisors ambassadors um, with the university um, did our campus tours um, just so many people to thank and it, it, it's not just done by us as coaches but a lot of people um, involved so we, we greatly appreciate that um, we're thankful for that and again it's easy to sell a great program and a great university to uh, these student athletes um, you know bottom line is is, is uh, you know we, we, we needed to uh, you know get some immediate impact guys as well as um, uh, some guys that, that are going to be developmental players over the next four or five years and so uh, we didn't graduate a ton of ton of players I mean we on senior day we walked eight um, student athletes across the field for their last time uh, so that's a very, very small number. We've talked about that in the past at Bearbackers and some different events. Uh, this was a, a, a group um, that, that um, you know, won a lot of football games, but again, we didn't have to replace a ton of guys. We've got a lot coming back to the 2023 version of the Bears. So this signing class uh, was put together um, with a great mixture of, of uh, you know, mid-year transfers. Um, when I say mid-year transfers, that's a couple of transfer portal guys from four-year schools as well as junior college guys as well as two high school early enrollees. They graduated early from high school and they're already on campus working out. Uh, I'm excited about those individuals as well as a great uh, high school class that will report this summer. So, um, you know, look, breaking it down, um, you know, we signed 11 um, from the state of Arkansas, which is huge for us. Again, we want to make sure we protect our state borders first. Um, we signed nine from the state of Mississippi. I mean, the state of Mississippi has been great to us over the last decade, um, not only at the junior college ranks, but also tapping into the high school ranks as well. Um, we've, we've got a lot of, lot of, lot of uh, connections down in that state. And we've done a great job of that. The state of Texas continues to be well for us, signed six out of that state. Uh, one from Florida and one from Alabama. So um, again, good, good group, good mixture of, 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 of guys in our kind of recruiting footprint over the years. Um, and again, just, uh, just, just uh, excited to bring those young men and their families to, to Conway, Arkansas and the university. So fired up about that. If you look at our position breakdown, uh, you know, defensive back, we brought in seven. Again, in the defenses we play in this, this era of football, uh, you got to have defensive backs. We, we, more times than not, every snap we've got five defensive backs on the field, so you have to put an emphasis on that. We signed seven DBs in this class. We signed five wide receivers. Again, it's, you, know, you want to have as many skill guys as you can and many opportunities to bring guys in that can be playmakers. We signed three linebackers or outside linebackers in our scheme. Uh, four offensive linemen, again, continue to, uh, again, you'll see the size that we're bringing in. Again, that's an emphasis on that. Uh, three defensive linemen, again, we didn't lose a ton of defensive, defensive linemen, but, uh, but again, brought in three guys to, to add to the mix. We brought in three running backs. Uh, kicker, which we know we, we just graduated Hayden Ray, who's the all-time leading scorer um, in, in field goals. Uh, it, it, on campus, so it's a big deal to get a, get a replacement to help, help uh, you know, 
uh, fill that load. One quarterback and one tight end. So again, a good mixture of positions. Um, everybody, all, a lot of times people ask, well, where's your emphasis on that? Well, every year is an emphasis on every position. I mean, I constantly coach our players and tell our players, and I told these recruits, my job is to out-recruit you next year, right? And so um, our coaching staff tries to bring in the best talent we can, and we feel, we feel very comfortable about these guys and, and where they're at and the guys that we brought in. Again, a, a bunch of good football players, but also a lot of good students as well. If you look at, 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 the, uh, at the information and the, and the accolades that these young men have, you're going to see some high GPAs, you're going to see some honors stuff as far as the school classroom goes, um, and then also the football, football side of things, they do a great job of that. So um, at this time, I want to jump right in uh, to the class. I'm going to speak a little bit on each, each young man and, and, uh, and you know, what they're bringing to the table and just how excited we are. Um, about about each each kid. We're going to start out um, in the defensive backfield. Uh, Tariq Agbidian um, is a defensive back from KD High School. Uh, he is also an early enrollee, so he's a young man that graduated early from high school. He got his credits, got NCAA qualified, and is on campus right now as a 17, 18 year old senior. Should be senior. Um, he's already working out and going to be going through spring ball with us. Again, a long kid, six foot, around 170, 175 pounds. Uh, just really quick twitch. Had a ton of big offers early in his early in his recruiting process, um, and and ended up falling to us um, in a, in a certain sense. But early on, had SEC offers, had Group of Five offers. Uh, he was a heavily recruited guy, and you can tell why in a short amount of time. He's been here for a couple weeks already. Um, he's been integrated into our defensive system. He's working out with Coach Fodio and our our our, our strength staff, and really just jumping jumping two feet in and has done a great job. Torik's a guy that can come in and. And, and make an instant impact at the defensive backfield. We plan, plan on si uh, slotting him at the corner position. Again, we want some length out there, a six foot freshman uh, to come in and hopefully develop and continue to gain some weight and add to the ability he already has. Um, we're excited about that. Uh, Torrey's got a bright, bright future ahead of him uh, in our program and, and we're looking forward to getting him here. Um, the next guy, uh, Jabraxton Boone um, from Ridgeland High School in Ridgeland, Mississippi. Again, he's another one of those pipeline high school Mississippi uh, uh, skill players. Uh, we slot him in at wide receiver. Again, a big physical kid, 6'1", 200 pounds. Uh, you look at his overall statistics and, and, and the, the type of player he is, he, when he has the ball in his hands, good things happen. This kid is physically, emotionally, mentally ready to come in and make an impact right away. I can see this, I can see Jabraxton having an impact um, in our offense as soon as he steps on campus. Um, he reminds me of, of the mold of, of, of a Gerard Barnes type. When he gets the ball in his hands, good things happen. Uh, he's got the same type body as, as Gerard, maybe a little bit taller. Um, but, but again, his upside is, is enormous. Um, he's a young man that, uh, that will, will, will put us on the map and continue our, our great stretch and run of good wide receivers and quality play at that position. Uh, we're looking forward to Jabraxton uh, getting on campus. And again, a young man that, that when you, when you went, around, went around the state of Mississippi, people were just shocked that we were, we were able to sign him just because of his ability and what he's known for in that state. So excited about Jabraxton Boone um, from Ridgeland, Ridgeland High School there in Mississippi. Uh, next guy I would like to talk about is Landon Chambers, uh, running back from Fossil Ridge High School there in Keller, Texas in the DFW area. Uh, <laughs> great story about Landon, I think Coach uh, Nelson Goodell did a great job, our running back coach, recruiting this young man. He got on him early um, and continued to recruit him. Again, similar to Tori, he, uh, he had a lot of early offers. As a matter of fact, two weeks before uh, he came on his official visit to UCA, he was committed to BYU. Um, and so when you're talking about a, a running back that was committed to BYU, that's a team that's going into the Big 12. Um, that's pretty impressive. Again, a physical kid. He's 5'11", close to six foot, going to be around 215, 220 pounds. Again, has the same body type and mold of Darius Hell, of Kylan James, those bigger backs that we've had success with recruiting over the, over the last few years. Again, a young, a young man that, that, that will come in and compete right away. He's got that ability. Um, 3,000 plus yards over the course of his career. Uh, you know, 40 plus touchdowns in his career. Um, just a productive guy. So when you're looking to recruit a running back, a lot of times uh, you can see the ability, you can see the 40 times, you can see the size, but you want to see production. Um, and, and he has production. So we're excited about Landon Chambers uh, and what he brings to the table. Again, keeping us, uh, keeping us alive in that pipeline of the DFW area over the years has been great to us. Uh, 
First, uh, the first uh, true transfer um, that I'm going to talk on uh, is Dathan Davis, wide receiver from Georgia Military College. Um, he's originally from Bartow, Florida. Um, so again, an, another Florida kid that we've been fortunate enough to go um, to go get. Um, he's going to stand about six foot four to six foot five, 210 pounds. Uh, I think he's been as much as 220 pounds. Um, again, he walks in that door and you're going to turn around and just, just uh, wonder who he is. He's that good of looking a kid. Um, he looks the part, he's physically gifted. Uh, he's got great 50-50 ball skills, which if you have that ability and you're six foot four, six foot five, um, that's just a weapon in itself. Again, we needed some length at wide receiver. We feel like last year's wide receiver class, we took care of the speed, we took care of the quickness. Um, we've got some really quick twitch guys, but we needed, not that these guys aren't quick and fast, but we needed some more length. Dathan gives us that right away. He's a young man that's finishing up his, his, his degree at Georgia Military. He will actually enroll in May, um, or May, May June range, uh, with the high school, uh, high school uh, signees. Um, so we're excited to get him in. He is not on campus yet, but again, has signed with us and look forward to his upside. Again, a heavily recruited guy from one of the most richest uh, recruiting pipelines in Georgia, Florida area in the nation. And so to go into that area, go beat some really good schools for this, for this kid's ability uh, was big for our program and big for us as a, as a, as a, as a, as a university and as an athletic department. Uh, Next, next one is the obviously first first offensive lineman I want to talk about is Joey Dixon. Joey uh, is from McKinney Boyd in McKinney, uh, McKinney Texas, uh, McKinney Boyd High School. Um, he's going to stand about six foot three, uh, close to three hundred pounds. Um, again, he's going to slot as one of the interior three offensive linemen. Again, already a physically gifted kid. Um, he was a newcomer of the year in his conference um, in 2021 or 2020. Um, was was two time All District offensive lineman. Uh, was an honorable mention, honorable mention uh, academic all-state player um, as well. Um, just a great family, a great player. We recruited on him early. Had some early uh, had some early A Sun Wax Southland offers, um, and ended up jumping on board with us. But again, a, I'm a big believer. Um, as I talk about these offense and defensive linemen, that's where you win championships. You win championships with the offense and defensive linemen. And, and uh, Joey's going to give us that ability um, early on. Again, he's, he's a physically ready to go guy. He's not a 260 pound guy that you're trying to get to 300 pounds. He's close to 300 pounds right now. Um, it's just mastering his skills and getting us in a position to, uh, to get him on the field and, and compete with some of our inside three position guys. Um, and excited about Joey and his family jumping on board. Uh, the next young man is a, uh, a second DB I want to talk about is Stephen Edwards. Uh, Stephen Edwards is from Northeast Mississippi Community College, College uh, originally from Sardis, Mississippi. Stephen is a long defensive back. Again, he will slot in at the corner position for us, similar to Torique, who I, who I was talking about earlier. Uh, Stephen's around six foot, 175, 180 pounds, uh, already on campus working out. Again, a physically gifted kid that has uh, maturity. Uh, he's been in a college program at Northeast Community College for a couple of years. Um, so, uh, so he understands what, how to play and what to do in college football. Um, been watching, watching some, of his, some of his workouts, some of the things he's doing. He's a super quick twitch guy for his length. Again, we need instant impact guys on the defensive backfield. We need, some, uh, we need to add some competition with some of the guys we already have um, at the corner position. So length was an emphasis for us. Steven gives us that length. Um, he's a young man that, that, that has an infectious attitude, ton of smile on his face, great student, athlete, got his, got his associate's degree there at Northeast. Um, in, in, in a year and a half, and uh, just excited to get him integrated into our program. He's done a great job to this point. Similar to Steven, uh, Jacob, Jacob Ryan Eichelberger, call him Ike. Um, Ike is from Mississippi Delta Community College um, there, there in Mississippi, originally from Pine Bluff, uh, Arkansas. Went, went to Whitehall High School, um, was, was, a, uh, was a teammate of Cameron Robinson, a current wide receiver on our team. Ike is, a, is a, again, a six foot one, 185, 190 pound quarter, cornerback or safety. Um, in the defensive backfield, he's kind of a hybrid guy that could do both. He's played corner, he's played safety. Um, he, he, we could put him at the nickel position um, that we play with. Um, so, so Ike is going to be a huge asset to us. Again, a physically ready to go guy. When I say 185, 190 pounds, that's important to hear um, because again, you don't, you don't have to put a bunch of weight on him. Uh, he's already, a, again, just, just fine tuning his skills to what we need to do and what we need him to be uh, for our program. Him and Steven both are brought in as mid-year guys already on campus 
um, uh, to, to come in and compete, go through 15 spring practices, uh, push, push our guys. And again, they've jumped in uh, two feet and uh, looking forward to them and their, 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 their progression as we push this thing, thing through. Excited about Ike getting him back to the state of Arkansas too. Again, had some other offers, had some other opportunities um, and, and got him back, um, back close to home. So that's a big deal. Jake Gaster, kicker, um, also was the punter, also was the kickoff guy for Trinity Valley Community College, um, originally from Frisco, Texas. He stands about 500, 5 foot 11, 170 pounds. Um, again, that may not sound important as a kicker, um, but it is. He's got length. Again, he's, he's, he's close to six foot tall. Usually the longer the kicker is, the more power they have, the more power they can distribute on the football. So Jake is, to my knowledge, in the Division I era, the second uh, junior college first team All-American that we've signed. Um, we signed a, a young man a few years back, a defensive back at Duke Upshaw. Some of you may remember out of East Mississippi, had a good career here. Um, but, but Jake is, is, is coming off an All-American year at Trinity Valley Community College uh, with, the, with the graduation of Hayden Ray, the career he had. Um, we've got some very capable kickers and punters on, on campus, um, starting with Chandler Coffron. Um, we, 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 we love Jake Ward um, and, and his upside. We've got a couple other young guys, but we needed to bring in an impact guy, and Jake Gaster is that guy to come in and compete um, to, to, to try to elevate that position room. Um, Coach Scott pinpointed him earlier um, as our special teams coordinator, and, uh, and we, uh, we went and got him. And again, we had to win some recruiting battles with him. A uh, young man had Texas State, had the Incarnate Word, um, had, had some stuff in, in the state of Texas, and we were able to, to get him and his mom up here for an official visit, fell in love with it, and obviously um, got him when it was all said and done. So Jake is going to be a guy that um, will we'll come in and compete and hopefully be slotted into one of those three, three kicking spots right away. I'm so excited about Jake and his ability. Um, Next, next player is, uh, is another high school defensive back, uh, Malachi Graham. Uh, Malachi is about 5'10", 5'11", around 185, 190 pounds. Uh, probably uh, uh, one of the best all-around football players in the state of Arkansas. He's, he's from Bryan, Arkansas. He's won three straight state championships, um, which, which anybody that's been involved in this state knows the Bryant run that they're on. Uh, the young man hadn't lost a game in high school. And so you want to recruit winners. You want to recruit guys that understand uh, how to create a culture and be a part of a culture. Well, Malachi is one of those guys. He's a guy that is literally, when you talk to coaches across the state at the 7A level, which is the highest level of football, his name comes up every single time as one of the best players in the state. One of the, if not the best defensive player, one of the best defensive players in the state. Uh, had double digit interceptions, uh, over 100 tackles. Um, just around the football constantly. Um, and so uh, he, him and his family, his mama, what a sweet people they are. Obviously Coach Buck James and his, his, his staff at Bryant, uh, no, no, no Malachi's uh, defensive coordinator played with him here at UCA. Quad Sanders does a great job at Bryant. Uh, he's, he's going to be ready to play college football. And so, uh, you know, we, we signed Will Diggins last year from Bryant High School. He was an offensive lineman and was freshman of the year in the conference. So we know what Bryant kids do. We've got a great pipeline there uh, of, of players, and Malachi is going to be no different. Uh, which that naturally segues me into Miguel Graham, <laughs> defensive back, the twin of Malachi. Uh, Miguel is a little bit longer. Uh, he's about six foot, six foot one, 180 pounds. Uh, he's going to slot in at the corner position. Uh, and actually, Miguel was the first of the brothers that we offered. We offered him out of out of uh, out of summer camps. He came and ran a great 40. Looked good in drills. Um, has that length you're looking for. Um, and and so when you can get, you know, it's kind of like killing killing two birds with one stone. When you can get two great players from the same roof. Uh, over their head, that's a big deal, and, and obviously, uh, you just just to, to be able to keep it, keep both of those boys together. Um, they, they've all they've ever done is play together. Um, it's it's exciting. Now, totally different personalities. Miguel is a a very a very uh, outspoken. Uh, you know, he's a corner. He's long. He he'll, he'll 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 do some talking, and that's what makes him special. He plays with an edge, um, whereas Malachi's brother's a little more quiet, a little more business like. Um, it's just fun to have both of those guys. Again, like I said, they have an unbelievable sweet mama who, uh, who, uh, who is, who's on point with those boys, and then they've been coached by the best. Again, neither one of them have lost a high school game. They've won three straight state championships. 
I mean, the upside there is just just enormous um, with the Graham brothers. So excited to introduce both of them and keep them close to home here at UCA. Uh, Next man is obviously one close to my heart. Love talking about quarterbacks. Trey Gira uh, from Keller High School in Keller, Texas. He'll be about six foot two, 180, 185 pounds. Uh, Trey is, is, it just gets me excited to talk about him. You wanna talk about winning recruiting battles. If you wanna keep developing culture and program uh, the way we have, you have to win recruiting battles. We won that with Trey. Trey had Western Kentucky, Western Michigan, Incarnate Word. Stephen F. Austin, I mean, just about every school in our conference, Austin P. Uh, all really, really pursuing him at a heavy, heavy load. Um, and, and obviously Coach Collins, Coach Novak, um, our, our staff as a, as a whole um, did a great job recruiting him and his family. Unbelievable family. Um, got to spend some time with them over the recruiting process. Um, just if, when you talk about the position of quarterback, Trey Gear's name ought to come up first. I mean, he's got a competitive nature. He's got, obviously has the ability, has thrown for you know, almost 6,000 yards in his career, has rushed for close to 1,000 yards, um, has dual threat ability, but is great in the pocket. Unbelievable feet, has been trained well at the quarterback position. Uh, he's a kid that has an edge to him. He has that, 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 that fire and grit to him that you look for in the quarterback. Um, position, but also also has the ability that you need to back that up. And so uh, Trey's going to come in as a young player. Um, he's going to compete right away. Obviously, we love our quarterback room. We're going to always have quarterbacks, but we always also love competition. I love bringing in guys to compete. Um, you know, with 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 the guys that are already here. Will McIlvain's coming back after having a great season. He'll be even better this year. Clifton McDowell showed what he could do late in the year in some situations. And then Austin Myers. I mean, look, he's had as good an off season uh, and as athletic and physical build kid um, from Valonia, Arkansas, that we signed last year. Just looking forward to getting those guys in and competing at the highest level. It's going to be fun to watch. But Trey is huge. He's he is. You build around your quarterback. You build around that class. Uh, a class with with guys guys like him um, and Trey is, is no different than that. So excited about him. Uh, the tight end of the class is, is Ben Hallmark. Um, tight end from Russellville High School just down the road in Russellville, Arkansas. Uh, he'll be about six foot three, 240 pounds. Uh, you want to talk about a Swiss Army knife, he's a guy that did it all. He played the position of quarterback, he played tight end, he played wide receiver, he played defensive line. Uh, he was their punter, an all-conference punter for Russellville. Um, and just someone that, that uh, did it all for Coach Wheeler um, and his staff there at Russellville. Obviously, I've got deep ties to Russellville, being a Russellville guy, so I've got all the ins and outs on, on Ben. Uh, again, another guy that was heavily recruited, had Louisiana Tech, had Florida Atlantic, uh, had some other stuff uh, close, close, close to this state. So uh, to win the recruiting battle on him, to get a young, talented, athletic tight end, a pass-catching tight end, he catches the ball. He makes plays when he has the ball in his hands. He, he, they, they would direct snap it to him as quarterback. He had a lot of rushing yards this year, like 300 plus rushing yards, six or seven touchdowns uh, on top of receiving yards. He had almost 90 tackles on the defensive line, uh, you know, uh, multiple sacks. So just an athletic kid that we're excited about. Again, Ben's gonna come in and compete right away. That's a position you can come in if you're physically ready to play, um, and you can come in and make an impact right away at the position of tight end, especially in our offense. So excited about Ben and what he brings to the table. Andrew Hayes, uh, defensive back. Uh, for our first uh, four-year transfer from the transfer portal from Washita Baptist University, originally from Bryant High School. Um, like the Graham brothers, again, a good pipeline to Bryant. Uh, Andrew's gonna be about six foot, 190 pounds, uh, again, a player that that, uh, that decided to, uh, to to enter the transfer portal and see see if see what 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 was available, and um, we had a knowledge of him out of high school. We offered him out of high school, and and, and didn't work out. Um, he ended up going to Washita Baptist and, and played there for three years, um, and so getting him back um, back back to UCA is a big deal. Andrew is a mature kid. Uh, he's he's engaged to his fiance. They're getting married this spring. Uh, he's got goals in life. He's a great football player. He is someone that, uh, that is going to be an instant impact player for us. We brought him in to be an impact guy right away for us. Uh, special talent. Again, maturity is key there, but also ability. He's a two-time All-GAC conference player um, that, that has a ton of production at the college level. Look for production at the college level. That's what we're doing moving forward in the transfer portal. Andrew Hayes is that guy. The next guy I want to talk about is Malachi Henry, uh, another in-state 
athlete uh, that we were fortunate enough to, uh, to sign. Uh, again, we were going to slot Malachi in at wide receiver. Um, Van Buren High School, uh, about six foot, 185, 190 pounds. Again, when I keep talking about these guys, a lot of them you're going to keep hearing me say are physically ready to go. Uh, again, he's a longer receiver, has the body type of you, you Bear fans that have been watching in the Division I era. Desmond Smith reminds me a lot of him from Bentonville High School, um, one of the all-time great receivers here. Malachi is of that mold. Uh, the exciting thing about Malachi, again, similar to a lot of these guys, he's like a Swiss Army knife. Uh, he was a guy we offered early as a defensive back out of, out of, uh, out of, out of camp, summer camp. Um, but knew his ability at wide receiver was just as good, just as talented. Um, so he's, he's got a ton of ability. He's coached by his dad. His dad was the head coach, Coach Henry, there at Van Buren. Uh, so he, he's the son of a coach. He's a, right at a 4.0 student. Um, just just uh, unbelievable maturity. Like when I say uh, a high school kid, there's probably, you're not, probably not going to find a more mature high school kid than Malachi Henry, um, that which will allow you to come in and compete right away. I mean, when you've got it, you've got the mindset and mentality uh, like, like a young man like Malachi, that's good. And then, and then getting to keep him in state. Again, had other offers outside the state, um, had stuff that, that he could have pursued, had a chance uh, at some bigger schools, and, and again, believed in us, believed in our ability. Uh, Coach Johnson did a great job of recruiting him. Coach Cree Trammell did a great job recruiting him, and our staff really, really, really sold uh, this program to him and his family. They're unbelievable people. I look forward to you guys meeting their family. Uh, they're going to be a great asset to our program and our university. Brayden Jones, uh, linebacker from Bentonville West High School. Um, I, I, again, another in-state guy, but also the second early enrollee uh, out of high school. So he graduated early, was NCAA qualified, and he has been, over the last couple weeks, been working out with Coach Fodio, our staff, um, getting integrated into, into our program as a 17, 18-year-old guy that should be uh, getting ready for his prom, but he's getting ready for spring ball. So, <laughs> you know, anytime you can get that uh, in your program, that's a big deal uh, for us. Again, Braden is an athletic linebacker. Again, not the biggest, five foot 11, around 200 pounds, uh, but can absolutely fly. We timed him in the four threes at our summer camp. So when you talk about playing offenses, this day and age, they try to get the ball from side to side. They try to get it to their playmakers, their speed. You have to have speed. And Braden Jones is one of those guys that has speed. So he's going to be a great asset to us. Again, going to try to put a little weight on him, um, but also not, not lose his speed by putting that weight on him. So excited about what Braden brings to the table. Braden Stafford. Offensive lineman out of Hatton High School. He is our, out, our kid from Alabama this year. Again, we've had a great run of in-state Alabama kids out of high school. Braden is a six foot four, 300 pound offensive lineman out of Hatton High School. Um, there around the Birmingham area. Again, a three sports star, a great all-state, all all conference uh, offensive lineman uh, can really play all you know four of the five positions on the offensive line. Could be a tackle, could also play uh, you know on the inside, um, but also just his athletic ability bleeds through um, in the other sports he plays. He's one of the best basketball players on his on his basketball team. I mean, when you're talking about a six foot four, three hundred pound kid, um, he he's got unbelievable feet. You watch him on the basketball court, and that's where you fall in love with him. And you watch him hit home runs in baseball. I mean, he's a great baseball player. Um, so when you when you when you when you bring in an offensive lineman, I mean, you think big, strong, burly, all those things. Well, he's all that, but he's also got great feet. He's got athletic ability. He can move. He can bend. He can do all the things that you're looking for. Again, a kid that was recruited heavily in the A Sun Conference um, and won that recruiting battle for him. Uh, excited about Braden, Braden Stafford. Doug Nelson, the third wide receiver from the state of Mississippi out of Hazelhurst High School. Again, a big kid, six foot three, 195 to 200 pounds. Uh, again, just a unbelievable young man coming from a great family. Uh, you know, a kid that was heavily recruited, um, someone that, that we're fortunate to win that battle on. Um, but again, similar to Malachi, similar to Jabraxton, similar to a lot of these guys that we signed out of high school can go both ways. Again, he, you can look at his statistics, his, his high school stats of catching the ball are really second to none. I mean, they threw him the ball, he caught it, he got in the end zone a lot of times. Um, but also if you look at his, his uh, defensive stats, I mean, tons of tackles, uh, eight or nine interceptions as a senior. I mean, just has a nose for the football, never came off the field there at Hazelhurst High School. Um, and so that tells you a lot about his ability, his upside. When he can focus on one side of the ball, I think his, his upside is enormous. Again, a physically ready, re physically ready 
kid to come in and make an impact. Again, not a kid that we're going to sit here and have to spend a lot of time on in the weight room to get him uh, up to snuff and what we're looking forward to do. So uh, very excited about, about Doug um, and, and his upside here, here in our program. Tyreek Newman, running back athlete out of McGee High School here in McGee, Arkansas. Again, small town ball. Uh, it's been good to us in this state. I mean, uh, Tyreek Newman, uh, the, the, the next name that comes to my, 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 out of my lips uh, in similarity to him is Kylan James. Okay, whoo, Kylan James, 1,300 plus yards, uh, all purpose yards this year in our program. At the, you know, as good a player in the nation at getting the ball in his hands and, and making plays. Well, Tyreek Newman is that similar uh, build and player, and obviously from from a similar area. Kylan James being from Dumas, and, and Tyreek being from right down the road in McGee, Arkansas. About 5'11", going to be about 200 pounds. Um, you watch him on the basketball court. I mean, he can two-hand dunk it. He can do do a lot of things that make him special. But man, when he's got the football in his hands, good things happen. Again, production: 3,000 plus yards in his career. Uh, you know, 30, 30 plus touchdowns. The good things happen when, when, when Tyreek gets the ball. Uh, and again, his ability um, there, there in the McGee program uh, to continue to recruit uh, that, that southeast portion of the state, which has been so, so good to us. Uh, we're excited to bring Tyreek up and, and, and look forward to getting him in our program. Uh, next next uh, player is, is again our second uh, transfer portal player that I want to talk about. Um, and that's Michael Onwuzariki, and uh, and so um, call Mike. Mike is, uh, is 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 in our program already. He is coming from East Central University there in Oklahoma. He's originally from Allen, Texas. Uh, he's a linebacker, about six foot, two hundred and ten pounds. Um, again, similar to Andrew Hayes, was a two-time first-team All-GAC performer. Um, had double-digit sacks over the last two years, 100-plus tackles over the last two years um, at the Division II GAC level, which is production. Again, I talked about that you know, many times, find production in the transfer portal. Well, those two young men, Andrew and Mike, are production, right? Um, and so Mike's going to come in as a mature kid. Right away, he's already working out. He's already established himself. He's a grinder. He's a worker. He's a no-nonsense guy. His brother is a starting defensive lineman for the Detroit Lions right now. He's got a pedigree. His ability is, is, is really, really, really high. And so you watch him on film. It took about five clips to say, man, we've got to get this kid because you know the talent he's playing against. <clears throat> Excuse me. The GAC is a great football league. We know that. We know that with the in-state schools, Washington Baptist, Henderson State, Harding, uh, Arkansas Tech, UAM, Southern Arkansas, they all do a great job. Um, East Central is a part of that league, and so to have the ability and be an all-conference player two years in that league is a big deal. Mike is that guy. We're excited about him. Rontavious Person, or as most of you know him as Dude Person. Okay, he might be the most popular guy on the on the team with his name. Again, kind of kind of a, it went Twitter viral um, when we when we signed him. Uh, we're <laughs> we're excited about Dude and his ability uh, here 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 on campus. Originally from Oxford, Mississippi, went to Northwest Mississippi Community College. Uh, he slots in as a safety nickel for us um, from 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 that position. He's about five foot eleven, two hundred five pounds. Uh, one of the best overall football players uh, that we signed in this signing class. Uh, 80 plus tackles in the Mississippi Junior College League, that's a big deal in a season. Was their second leading tackler at Northwest Mississippi. They were a national title contender in that program. So when you've got the second leading tackler from a national title contending team, that's a big deal. Dude Person's that guy. Again, comes in mature, comes in ready to play, has, has a Unbelievable ability in the classroom, unbelievable ability off the field, has an infectious smile. But man, he when you when he crosses those lines, he is a different dude. He can play the play the game of football. Um, he's going to add so much to our defensive backfield. Going to add so much to three different positions. Uh, he could play field safety. He could play boundary safety. He could also play our nickel position. Again, a guy that's going to come in and, and be an instant impact guy. Excited about dude. You guys ought to be too. Get to know him. Uh, not just because of his name, but because he's a good he's a good dude, right? That's a good one, huh? Uh, Shun Derek Powell, again, the third of the transfers. Uh, many of you know that name. Well, you know that name because we played against Shun D. And Shun Derek Powell uh, is a running back, transferred from the University of North Alabama, uh, originally from Hoxie, Arkansas, um, and ended up ended up signing with North Alabama out of high school. Um, was there for for uh, for three years, um, and and this past year was obviously his cherry on top. Um, he was he was uh, the A Sun Offensive Player of the Year. Um, was a consensus All American. Um, rushed for 1,600 plus yards, tons of touchdowns. 
Um, just one of those players that you did not have fun looking forward to. He was a Walter Payton Award finalist. Um, you know, he was, a, he was rated, rated the 14th rated transfer running back in the transfer portal. That's a pretty big deal. I mean, so for us to get the 14th rated overall transfer running back out of the portal by 24-7, um, you know, you can't, you can't, you can't top that. And, and, and had Kansas State, Memphis, Troy, South Alabama, Utah State, Illinois State, Georgia Southern. I mean, I could go down the list. Guy had 20 plus offers out of North Alabama um, and we were able to bring him in. Again, a different type back than what we have. Uh, he runs physical, he's strong, he's all those things. He can really, really, really has speed. Um, but he's not the same build as Darius Hale. He's not the same build as Kylan James, but he adds so much dynamic to that room. I, I just, I, I, I can't sleep at night out of excitement of thinking what I can do and what Coach Collins can do with Shunderick Powell and Darius Hale in the backfield at the same time, or Shunderick Powell, Darius Hale, and Kylan James in the backfield at the same time, or Kylan James and Shunderick in the backfield. I mean, you could just do so many combinations along with even the, the, the the other running backs that we've signed and other running backs that are in that room. I mean, you know, Tryson Smith, uh, you know, uh, it, it, I can go down, 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 the, down the list of, of talent the, that, that we have in that room and it's just, um, just, just so, so, so much upside. And so Shundi adds so much to that, to that ability um, at the running back position and uh, look forward to him. He's already here, he's integrated into our system. Um, he's, he's working out, he's, a, he's built like a brick house um, and again, a player that'll be an instant impact guy. And, and, and again, I think make Darius better. I think make Kylan better because you've got to worry about so many things. And so, which in turn ought to make our quarterback play even better as well. So excited about Sean Derek Powell. CJ Rayburn, uh, offensive lineman out of South Haven High School there in South Haven, Mississippi. About six foot four, uh, 295, 300 pounds. Again, probably slot him at the tackle position. Uh, again, his, his ability is athleticism. He finishes plays. He plays with balance. He does all those things. We looking for size. We continue to talk about size on the offense and defensive line. CJ adds size. He adds a ton of ton of ton of uh, talent to that room. Uh, he's not just a big bruising dude. He he has again, like I was talking about Braden Stafford earlier. He has athletic ability to move side to side, and that's what you're looking for when you watch NFL great offensive tackles or offensive linemen. They move their feet. Well, CJ is a guy that can move his feet and make you, make you better on that front. Again, ability, ability. He's got upside. He's got so much that can come in and add such an asset to Coach Boykin and uh, in that room uh, right away when he gets here. Reginald Shepard, Reggie Shepard, out of Hines Community College, originally from Sebastopol, uh, Mississippi. About six foot three and a half, six foot four, 245 pounds. Uh, again, pass rush, right? Like you win with pass rushers. Um, defensive line, uh, you know, we're bringing back David Walker who was a Buck Buchanan finalist, the defensive player of the year in the A-Sun, consensus All-American. you got Logan Jessup, who's been a two-time All-American, an all-conference player. Uh, you've got Jake Golday, who was our fourth, fifth leading tackler um, at, at the defensive end position. Well, Reggie's going to add to that. He's going to come in and compete with David, come in and compete with Logan, come in and compete with Jake, um, and, and <clears throat> excuse me, has had, had, uh, had a ton of production at, at his community college and, and someone that we pinpointed early we knew he was athletic, but then he, when we got him on campus, he was bigger than we expected. So he's already on campus working out. He looks quick. He's got twitch. He's extremely strong in the weight room, can really bend. Uh, you, you can't, like, the, the signing all these defensive backs, I always tell these defensive backs when we're recruiting, recruiting them, your best friend is your defensive line. If quarterback's moving, has to be moved off his point or has to throw off his back foot, makes you better. A guy like Reggie Shepard is going to make our corners and our, our safeties better. Um, looking forward to him. Just an unbelievable student, close to a 4.0 when he was at Hines. Uh, got, his, got his associate's degree there and now is, is, is go, going to class and, and, and going through spring with us here um, on campus here at UCA. So looking forward to that. Caleb Sheeran, offensive lineman from Cabot High School here um, in central Arkansas. Uh, Caleb is a large man. He's six foot five, 290 pounds. Um, any, any of you Conway people that have played, that have kept up with Conway High School football over the last few years have watched them play uh, their big rival in Cabot, you know, a lot of times twice a year because of playoffs. Uh, one of those big tackles is Caleb, Caleb Sheeran that you've been watching the last few years. Um, got him in camp, fell in love with him. Obviously, we know how he's coached with Coach Reed, one of the best high school coaches in the state of Arkansas. Um, he raves about him um, and then what Caleb did in camp and then obviously what he's done throughout his junior and senior year, um, you know, made him a priority to us. Again, a great family, 
close to home, can't, can't get me more excited than to keep somebody close to home um, and, and be able to play football right down the road uh, 30 minutes from the house. So um, again, he's, he's a kid that's, that's, uh, that's going, to, going to have physical ability to play right away. Um, if he catches up to the speed of the game, he's someone that you keep an eye on name-wise uh, that could make an impact maybe like Will Diggins did, did this year as an early on offensive lineman. So um, excited about Caleb, excited to get him, get him on board and get him on campus this summer. Ashton Williams, again, another Central Arkansas young man out of Robinson High School there in Little Rock. He is a linebacker signee, 6'1", 205 pounds, uh, was two-time leading tackler in the state of Arkansas. Uh, production is is his middle name again like you're talking about a guy that had 250 plus tackles in two years uh, he was the state farm 5a defensive player of the year in the state of Arkansas um, so his production his ability is a two uh, also his 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 program he's a part of he's a two-time state champion uh, just a no-nonsense go get the ball tackle guy um, Ashton was a was was uh, pinpointed early on in recruiting by a lot of a lot of programs: Jackson State, Louisiana Monroe, uh, Tulsa, uh, you know, uh, Oklahoma State. A lot of people were on him early, and we we kept fighting the good fight, and in the end, sold him and his family on the Bears, and and look forward to him coming in and 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 making making plays soon. Um, he's a name to keep an eye on early on in his career. Uh, again, he plays a position in linebacker that you can come in and make an impact in early. Um, just be a good football player, understand assignment, and go do it. Go see, go see the ball and go hit it, right? And that's what Ashton does well. Um, and again, getting to do it right down the road. Uh, you know, when you're 30 minutes from your high school, um, you're 30 minutes from your house where your family can keep, keep in touch and stay close and be Bear supporters, that's a big deal to us. Uh, the final player that I want to announce uh, tonight uh, or today is, is Keon Williams, a uh, defensive lineman out of Northwest Mississippi Community College, originally from Oxford uh, High School there in Mississippi, about six foot two, 260, 265 pounds. Keon's got a great story. Again, similar to Amarion, out of high school, was a linebacker in the Mississippi-Alabama All-Star Game. So we signed two players that played in the Mississippi-Alabama All-Star Game, which I said before is one of the, one of the premier All-Star Games in the, in the nation. So Keon uh, was, a, was, a, was a player that signed with Northwest Mississippi out of high school. Uh, again, was a national contender this year, was, was a starter on that defensive line, was productive on that defensive line. Well, his story is he started out as a linebacker there and basically grew into a defensive tackle. So it reminds me a lot of Stefan McGlon, who played a lot of football for us last year, uh, who's coming in as a starting defensive tackle for us this year, um, who, who went to junior college as a quarterback and then grew himself into defensive line. Well, Keon's kind of the same way. Again, he's learning the position. He's new to it, but he's really, really, really good. He's got a ton of production. Uh, his athletic ability takes over. He's got really good hands. Obviously, his, his hips and his feet are really, really talented because he's, he's played in space his whole life. Um, so, so being a player that's played in space and now, now going to the defensive line front is a big deal. Um, and so we're looking forward to that. Uh, you know, with that being said, that's, that's our recruiting class. Again, a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of energy um, into this, this group of men. I think what gets me excited about these guys is, is obviously what you see on paper um, is, is what, what gets you excited. But these are good people. They're good people from good families, and, and, and we were fortunate enough to get every single one of these guys and their families on campus for official visits, got to know them in depth, got to sit, um, sit on campus with them at their schools or maybe in their homes over the course of the last two months and just really figure out what kind of person they are. Um, they're just adding so much to, to not only our program as, as a football, football team, uh, but I will say this as well to our university, to our community, um, and just, just all, all that you, uh, all that makes this, this, this program and this place so special. So, um, look forward to these guys, um, you know, making an impact. You know, get, get to know their names. We'll put names to faces as, as we go through spring ball and as we get into fall camp. Um, looking forward to spring ball dates. Um, we, 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 we will uh, pump that out soon um, with, with, with practice dates, um, ending with the, uh, the spring game um, and scrimmages so that you guys can come out, uh, see, see the 2023 version of the Bears. And, and, and we've got a, obviously a, a fun schedule ahead of us here in 2023. And um, we're looking forward to it. And we feel like we've got a team to compete and, and hopefully repeat as, as A-Sun champions. And uh, you know we've got the groundwork set. We've just got to go do it. And, um, looking forward to it. With that being said, um, thank you for listening. Um, again, y'all be safe, be careful. 
Um, and, and thank you guys for supporting our coaching staff, our, our athletic department, our football program. Bear Claws up.